know a place on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low. But my hands are all messed up, so you better drive, brother.
Get off my car. You see? I remember you. Replaced by Eileen. You see, that's low. This is Jerry. She's not a pretty lady. She's more like an offensive lion or a tight end. Big and hairy. But first of all, she gives Jerry five kids. But she's even bigger. Now, she's like a whole offensive lion. He feels no pride in himself. He has no pride in his marriage. He is ashamed of this wonderful lady who bears him so many young. And he comes to me and he cries, Fernando, save my marriage. I love my wife, even though she is a fat torture. And I say, Jerry, you are a man. It is a man's duty to love his wife, even if he is like a farmer. And now, Jerry is saved. By sleeping with other women. What? That's great. So, uh, who's on the line now? Hi, Laszlo. Janet. I love the show and always wanted to call in. You really offended me tonight. Who is this gutter trash you got on the show? Hey, Janice, I share your anxiety. The studio kind of forced him on me. Hey, you like yourself, mister. And you, Janet, why are you so ugly? Your husband didn't want me to happen. No, he's an idiot and a jerk. But he's probably a good daddy, and you sound very pretty. Angry and a little bit of a know-it-all, but very pretty lady. This is the thing, Laszlo. The women they think in New Beginnings is only for men. But no, it is for women too. For Janice, if her husband goes to New Beginning, she thinks Senor Wonderful all over again. And in the extreme case, maybe she come to work for me. And she get a New Beginning herself. She discovered the excitement and the passion all for herself. This is Janice, you call me Cinco, Cinco, Cinco. Never go, never go. <laughs> now listen, don't try to pimp out my listeners. That is a very ugly word. A travesty. I work miracle singers, not primping. I say, I give the passion back. And you better watch yourself, buddy. Because for my people, we take these insults very personal. And then, you no longer Mr. Talk Show. You Mr. Who Cut Up My Tongue. <laughs> Who are your people anyway? I, uh, which exotic location do you come from? I am... Um, I am Latin. <laughs> Latin is a big place there, buddy. We're in Latin. I do not need to listen to these insults. I have pride. I have a calling. Many are called, but few are chosen, my friend. And I was called and chosen to work a miracle. So, uh, where were you called from, Fernando? From a stay, okay? To happy money now? I'm not real Latin, but I provide real Latin passion. I work the miracles every day. Listen, wives! Children, if your husband, if your daddy, if he's not happy, send him to me, Fernando. In exchange for a few hours a week, I give you the world. Get off, get lost. You're just a cheap pimp from upstate. Get out of my studio. I save your daddy. I save your husband. It is a miracle. Get out of here. It's a miracle. Would you like a kitten? Have one delivered. Just log on to PetsOvernight.com and we'll send you a cute kitten overnight. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. And now it's time for a public service announcement from station owner Donald Love. Hello, my name is Donald Love. You're listening to a Love Media Station. Enjoy. All right, we're back here on Chatterbox, the radio show that never gets old. I'm Laszlo with open ears and a closed mind. Hello, you're on the air. What's your name? I wanted to talk about spanking. Oh, God, not another one. I think spanking kids is the only way to teach them right from wrong. So you think that teaching kids at an early age that violence is the solution to problems will make them valuable members of our society? Exactly. I knew you'd understand, Laszlo. My daddy used to whoop the tar out of me. He once hit me so hard, my spleen fell out of my ear. Didn't do me no harm. Look at me now, I'm the best pest control guy in East Portland. I've killed more rats, roaches, vermin than you can imagine, and I love it. This is such a great country, I wouldn't be where I am today if my daddy hadn't beat me since. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? I'm starting to believe that guy about the fluoride in the drinking water. Listen, 
If there's any sane person left in Liberty City that can hear my voice, please call the show right now. This is an SOS going out across the city. All right, let's go over to this line. Hello, caller. You are on the air. Are you sane? <laughs> are you a sane caller? Absolutely, Laszlo. Killer bees. K killer bees. Yes, killer bees. Did you know that if the current migration north continues, we will all be dead in three years? Did you want to become a bee sucker? I don't. That's why we must act now. Killer bees must be stopped. I wonder why more people aren't talking about this. I mean, killer bees swarming, it sounds pretty serious. Ah, but the killer bees are nothing compared to ants. You can't kill them. They're like sheep. They're going to take over. All right, thanks, caller. Ants, killer bees, fat people, what's plaguing you? Call now. Chatterbox, hello, you're on the air. Uh, yes. I'd like to say something about these damn people on trains and buses in the city who yammer on and on into their cell phones. I'm really glad we get to hear about what you're having for dinner. What we should do is herd them up and put them on an island. I am the president of a group called Citizens Raging Against the Phone. Crap? Exactly. Your organization's called Crap. What, what kind of moron are you? You, you want to round people up for using a phone? But you're, you're calling up on a phone to, to tell the world about it. I mean, but how many people are there in this crap? Citizens are raging against phones, Laszlo. How many people? There are three of us. It's hard organizing meetings without the phone, though. We've had to resort to carrier pigeons, and they keep disappearing. What are you speaking to me on? What's, it, what's that in your hand? I am not the problem. You are, and you're perpetuating the downfall of mankind. Liberty City was great before phones ruined everything. Liberty City was a church, a cow pasture, and three houses when the telephone was invented. Liar! You're the liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. What are you, are you, are you three years old? Laszlo's a liar, Laszlo's a liar. I bet that isn't even your real name. Shut up. You shut up. Stupid. Nanny, nanny, boo-boo, stick your head in doo-doo. Oh, we're going to commercials. Is your job affecting your health? Do you become fatigued? Does working take time away from family and social events like watching wrestling? There's an easy solution. Sue your boss. See, the great thing about this country is you can sue anyone for pretty much anything, and you'll probably win, or at least get a settlement. At the firm of Rakin and Ponser Personal Injury Attorneys, we can show you how falling down and howling like a sissy can result in a large damage award from your employer. We also specialize in awards for injuries suffered in auto, bus, and train accidents, and can even train you to throw yourself in front of a bus and pretend to be injured. Hey, that's why they pay for insurance. Call the law offices of Rakin and Ponser and get ready to enjoy a life of luxury. All right, we're back on chatter.
know a place on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low. But my hands are all messed up, so you better drive, brother. 